Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. Also a warm welcome to any new viewers. I am Lily and in this last video we are going to do the fifth episode of island hopping in Doggerland. We have settled on mainland because we have nowhere else to go. Doggerland has sunk into the ocean and whoever did not get away in time are now mermaids. We will need a migrant with full Neolithic influence to come to the tribe. Will we manage this before 5k BC? And at the same time keep the tribe alive and happy? Follow me to find out. Right, let's get down some more housing. We should soon get the ability to build uh, reed huts because uh, we are so close. And when they're building a lot of things, poof, they will discover new things. If it's grayed out, they can discover it. That's the only rule. If it shows us gray, ta-da, we have the option. So now we just basically need one migrant with full Neolithic. Oh, hello, there you go, see? Told ya. So what we need is one, only one migrant with full Neolithic influence to get a lot of the Neolithic stuff. And uh, yeah, there are some though, of course, that need a lot more than others. For instance, the Longhouse, the Mars, is at 80% Neolithic influence. And that's going to take quite a while, so we're not going to wait for that. We're going to do a little bit of the Neolithic stuff, but not much, because it's supposed to be, you know, Doggerland. You know, Doggerland is now under the ocean. But I do want to, to play until we reach uh, Neolithic. Right. So also the wooden posts, they used to be... 30% Mesolithic culture influence in order to keep them, but now they've gone down to just 1%. So any Mesolithic percentage in the tribe is all you need to keep them, which I'm uber happy about. So you can go all the way to 2023 AD and still have them if you manage to have people get offspring that is Mesolithic majority culture. So you see they have more and more as they come. The, uh, the migrants, but well, some of them have increased. He had increase in uh, weaving. I'll take that. But oh, look at her, very poor grades. Gosh. Sure. We're going to have a fairly big dip in population growth soon. It's about time to get it. And then it will slowly but surely go back up again and then down again and then up again. Okay, let's just keep on practicing the skills. Stoneworking is important. Just keep it going. So I don't really expect to have a ton of people when we reach 1% uh, Neolithic influence in the tribe or when we get anything Neolithic, to be honest. Um, and I'm quite happy about that. I do not like the explosive population growth. It, uh, it's actually a lot more problems than, than anything else. It's not fun having to play hardcore with 200 people in the Mesolithic timeline. It, it is actually absolutely a nightmare. So I don't want to do that and I, I bet nobody else wants to either. Okay, so we have, we have uh, plenty of housing. I'm going to remove some of the, uh, the pelt huts as I build the straw huts. We're just going to use the pelt huts as emergency and that's it really. Yeah, so I anticipate we can stay here for quite a while. Um, the um, sinking of the ocean should have calmed down a lot now because Dogland is gone now. You know, there's like the there's tiny sliver left that nobody can do anything with. It will slowly but surely sink as well. But it's not big enough for us to, to place our bots down on at all. So inland it is. At least it's coast. So it's got to count for something. Yeah. 
right so in order for this video to not the, the last video which this one is to be 15 hours long i'm going to cut away either the the uh, boring parts or some of the nights and stuff like that and i also have a little bit of issues with my voice my voice wants to start to give up because i talk too much i think that's the only reason <laughs> Let's have a look and see. Yeah, so this is where we need to go in here. You know, it doesn't it doesn't look like London, but London should be roughly here. Well, where's the... How much is the uh, geography going to change? It needs to change more than this. I think it's a bit late for this change. I wonder if something is wrong with the map. We shall find out. We shall find out. Let's see, let's just have them work in peace. See what's going on. So, it, as long as you have a, a fairly decent balance, you won't really have a struggle. But you, we need to always pay attention to what the the environment is responding to us with, any of our actions. How is the the environment responding? For instance, if you put the the hazelnuts to to 150, and suddenly one year they only come home with 50, it kind of means that you either have the groups wrong. Or the environment is in need of replenishment and it's basically time to to migrate so this is also some of the things I'm keeping an eye on the fishing has been really low lately so I think I need to replenish the fishing a bit and take down some of the hunters as well to let the, the animals and the fish replenish so that is not a bad idea no matter if you don't plan on staying forever What I find important, especially in hardcore, is that if you can manage to, to grant your people at least some of their favourite foods, such as the meat, they will be fairly happy with having the odd, unloved food every now and then, as long as the combination of unrest is not high, you know. The max uh, dislike for food is 20, so it's not going to go above that. But if they also have other unrest, such as some of our bad grades, having the... Uh, the unrest due to work hours then you have a, a combination that could cause them to leave on hardcore so even if the uh, dish like a food is only 20 it could easily be 30 40 on the the exhaustion from work hours even though only default work hours so they will actually leave so just keep in mind that if you can manage to do balance so they always have some good food then you should be fairly all right It looks cool with uh, with a bit of odd fencing around, not like always this straight, straight square fencing. Now we're getting the reed huts down. Now we had enough uh, materials for them, so this is good because they will have the highest uh, sleep quality, and people will of course rotate. So let's get down a few of my torches which I have borked a little bit with making them basically last for months on slow. They will last for months on slow and yeah, <laughs> only take a few sticks to repair. <laughs> a little bit cheap, but hey, it's a mod. We can do what we like with the mods. I see people with the, the food mods, they can do hardcore because they have never ending supply of food. All food types give increased calorie count and they don't rot. I mean, how much are you actually going to cheat? I cheat with my torches. That's it. That's all I have. That's basically all what most people have. But you know, it's, it's quite fun to experiment a bit with the, the mods and see. If I wasn't testing, I would probably try out all of the mods to see how they worked. I think the food mod would be very quickly tiresome because there would be no challenge, would there? Everything would be, would be so easy because everyone got all the food they needed all the time and every food type was equal in calories and everybody loved everything and it didn't rot. I mean, seriously? What's the point? There's no point. <laughs> There's no point. I'll be bored after 30 minutes. Max. Max. Okay. So we are 47. Oh, oh, we have no more graves. How many old people do we have? Oh yeah, we're going to need a few, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to need a few of uh, the graves. Look, we have decorative now. Set of baskets. Can't build them though. We need to wait. 
little bit. Let's get a few more of those. Look at that 30%, that's such luxury, isn't it? I wonder I wonder if eight people are sleeping in the uh, in the reed hut and I exit out for disbanding for dispensing. Was they all will they all be chalked out into the back on top of each other? Sitting up completely confused and then meh, go back to sleep. <laughs> I think I want to try that. If I remember it I will try it. Oh my goodness, why am I so mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. There you go. Our first big reed hut is complete. Well then. So the, the patch is, is slowly but surely, you know, it, it slowly but surely grows on you, doesn't it? You get used to sea navigation. You get used to not having this restriction anymore. I'm just going to move these to a better place. Uh, and then it's quite the luxury to be able to, to hop from island to island and from island to mainland, from mainland to any island. But the thing is that it's holding us back is probably the regional square. You know, the regional square where you choose the area where you wish to initially plunk your ass down and then find a place to settle. It has been doubled though in the last few patches or a patch before this one or the one before that, I can't remember. And uh, so it has, it has doubled the area where you can choose to go. So I, I would like to try to see if I at some point can migrate from starting in Denmark and going all the way down to France or even further. I haven't, I haven't tested on this actually. That would be cool to see. I think I'm just going to place them a little bit under in the outskirts, but not like too outskirty. Yeah, that's fine. And I have some nice fencing around those as well. So yeah. I'm already working on the next patch, of course. Um, I can't tell you much about it, but it is more tweaks, more bug crashes, bug fixes. You know, it's still such an issue with AMD. Because um, now it is that players cannot manage to update their drivers unless they do it manually. And I mean, in our day and age, nobody updates anything manually. It's all automated. And the automation system did not work. Even I had to manually update my NVIDIA drivers. And I'm thinking, what in the actual heck? So, yeah. So the games will be suffering due to this. Other games as well. We've had some serious crashes in World of Warcraft as well. Serious issues in World of Warcraft too kicking me out of the game in the middle of a dungeon is not a good idea. At least in ancient cities you can just reload your game and go back in. In World well, of Warcraft you're burning the key. That's what happens. Never a good thing. So it's still 100% Mesolithic. There is some Neolithic in there but it's not a lot. It's not enough to, to make a dent yet. So when you have, a, say you have a a Mesolithic and a, um, a migrant that comes with a small percentage of Neolithic, you won't, uh, you won't transfer the entire percentage or the entire uh, amount of Neolithic to the child. It will be 50-50. So the child will get 25% of the Mesolithic and 25% of the Neolithic. So they will still be 75% Mesolithic. So the child will get 50% Mesolithic from the father. It's a bit intricate. Oh gosh, look at her. Look at my good, good new leader. I kind of expected her to have... Um, oh no, she came with migrants, didn't she? So she didn't have, She hasn't worked up better her skills yet. She doesn't have a long time to work them up anyway, so she'll probably just stay, stay with those two um, because she's in a gander group, yeah. Because everything else is taken. Yeah, sure. Look at all the three people we have. We have tons of free people. Tons and tons. Yeah. Right. Can 
do with a few more graves. They are already taken. So now my elder people are dying like flies. Because we had like, I don't know, we had like 18 elders and just like a third of, of um, the same population for kids. Kids were like five for a while. It was really low. But yeah, that's the point. You dip and then you go up and then you dip and then you go up. So the uh, the uh, um, the migrants seem to be uh, no not that one the the migrants seem to not come so much anymore and this is when we actually do need them so it's a bit far and and long between each group of migrants but the thing is for every time that does come a migrant they have increased Neolithic influence in the end we will we will get a full one I'm just waiting for that. So all in all, I find this patch to be, you know, you can't see too many new things, but the new things we do have are really hard hitting because they were really, really wanted. We have asked for such a long time to get sea navigation, to get boats, although it's not the matter of us building the boats. We have them automatically. And also the, uh, the camp settlement tool, that is like the best thing since sliced bread seriously we can drag the entire tribe with us and the resources that is a really really good thing to have I think people have asked for it for quite a while as well though come on guys let's build more of oh, both the uh, stone fences need building and also the the, uh, the wood fences need to be repaired but the wood fences take like two ticks it's like a, a joke in comparison to the stone fences So they lost uh, quite a while in the graves, in the graves on slow. I think they are, are dropping with roughly five to eight points per, per day, per sleep. Could do with getting some of these down. Look, not far off till we have the uh, storehouse now. Oh, well, a little bit far off, but it's the right timeline, so we could discover it. We could, in theory, discover it. Look how nice it is with the uh, pelt has being closer to the camp and with the same fencing system. It's quite cool. All the new come together. Don't mind that. Look at this one. 60%. No joke. And the altar is 80, and the big one... The really big men here is a hundred percent. I am definitely going to build that if I can get enough Neolithic culture before this uh, tutorial, almost said, before this playthrough ends. We don't have too much time. We're supposed to to get uh, everything that we need before 5k BC, so we don't have a lot of time. And also in, in Neolithic timeline, the time goes faster, or the historical years are faster moving. I wish they would be slow. I want everything to be slow when I want to do really long playthroughs so I can do episode by episode and then boom and see. I want a tribe that is 200 years old without going into zero AD. I mean there was a time where we had that, you know. There was a time where I had an 87 year old tribe and that was uh, not even uh, at 1500 BC. But you know, the, the, the lack of patience with so many players have kind of forced the, the, uh, the devs to change their system to be uh, much quicker, so they should have more action. So it's so far away from what it used to be. I don't mind this as such, but I think if they're going to give these options to the impatient players that want more speed, they should also grant those who like the slow speed an option as well. And this is kind of what I have been advocating for, which is why um, the next patch will also contain that they are slowing down the historical years in the MISO. So it's a kind of a compromise. At least we can stay longer in Doggerland, can't we? We can actually stay there maybe a year if we're really lucky. We're going to have to test that at a later point. Let's see what these have. Okay, so these are those, yeah, but we do have uh, the option to trade. We can do that. We can trade, uh, get a few of these. And we also just got flint spears. I already put my 
crafters to do it. You see, you can see we're near the timeline now, the Neolithic, because we're getting all these grains. Several of them have grain that they can uh, try the way. Oh, I would like, uh, would like that. We can basically soon start to, uh, as soon as we have some weapons, we can, in theory, raid these. Because we can't make stone sickle. We have no chance. That's far, far away. But we can, uh, we can steal the bows. We can, we can. Yeah, no, that was kind of it, wasn't it? Hmm. Look, they're right next to us. What a lovely tribe coming so close. So they want the ropes in return. We should get eight or so. Or maybe a bit less now, eight ish, I think. Eight or so. I mean, you'll get, yeah, sure, I'll take those any day. And they didn't change commodity afterwards. Sometimes when they do go low, they change commodity. And if you rate them a lot, you hammer them with rates, they will change commodity. Because you basically steal everything they have and then they have to change commodity. So when they're in a uh, tribe, then we put a pause because we do not need more than we already have. Right. Okay, let's uh, see where we are now. We could do with more of the good huts. We can place down more. No problem. Keep more people happy. There are some that aren't happy. For instance, that one, that woman there, she's unhappy because of the work hours. But they are on, on default, so I'm just going to leave them. She will have to just, uh, yeah, tough it up. I'm going to play some, uh, tada, some reed close to where they are for maintenance. Let them have some light as well you two can have light there you go always useful to have some torches laying around I mean otherwise they will stumble around in the dark won't they that doesn't make any sense oh and some lovely rain we won't hear the thunder or the sound effects apart from the rain until we put the, the speed on the lowest on default. But this is why we can hear thunder when we play low but not on any higher speed. I love rain and thunder. I'm a proper pluviophile or whatever it's called. I thrive in darkness and gloom. <laughs> Uh, this is what you get for growing up in northern Norway, where you, you know, you have a two-hour days at times. It's dark, 22 hours, for 24 hours. <laughs> but then again, we also have weeks and weeks where the sun never sets, the sun never goes down. Yeah, you learn to enjoy the darkness. Just say. Anyone from Scandinavia will know exactly what I'm talking about. The Swedish have it, the Danish have it, and the Norwegian have it. All of Scandinavia has it. I'm going to try to look inside this one. Sometimes you can look inside. You can see? Oh, oops. See? It's pissing, pouring rain inside the hut as well. This can't be good. This can't be good for you, Al. <laughs> um... There are several people, including me, who have suggested to the devs that we should be able to uh, take down the walls and see what's inside. Very sims, but hey, it doesn't mean we can't do it just because they thought of it first. I'm not sure they did think of it first though, to be honest. I can clearly remember Doom doing the same thing. And Duke Nukem. Well, not Doom, but Duke Nukem at least. Or maybe Doom as well. I can't recall. But I do remember my very first video game. It was on a floppy disk 
that's how long ago since I started my very first gaming on any computer. Yeah, they stopped using those in the late 90s, I think. I think. Yeah, late 90s. If I'm not completely mistaken. Anyway. Okay, let's. Uh, it is basically now a waiting game because I know there will be at least one more flood before 5k BC. That's kinda all I know. And then we will have to migrate. But until then, we are staying put, working on our knowledges, trying to make everyone happy, and see if we can get. Uh, oh, hello, migrants. So. I will look at you. Don't have any family. Grades are not the best in the world either. But look. For every new migrant that go comes as the time passes, they have more and more Neolithic influence. As soon as we have one with over half, we're going to get good stuff. That means the majority of influence with that migrant is Neolithic and hence we will show a smidgen on the tribe culture uh, panel meaning we will get Neolithic stuff yeah so talking a little bit about the patch not only 04 but also 03 I've already done the hardcore with 03 but there were more things that I probably forgot and I've gone over some of my notes and I think um, it is still what is most important is all the fixes, the optimization, and definitely the multi threaded um, thing. Yeah, I already forgotten the name because I haven't tested it in over a week and a half. Ridiculous. Memory is a nice banana. Yeah. Um, so the AI, the artificial intelligence, the members of the tribe will be a lot more efficient, which I absolutely love. I mean, there were times they could stand there and just, um, you know, move their upper body back and forth or kick in the dirt for several hours at a time. It was actually really annoying. So I'm glad they did that because it means a more efficient tribe. Yeah. It seems that they are quite happy with just the little uh, temple to pray. And the wooden posts, they are, how many are they? Six? They don't give a lot of increase in speed uh, per post, but if you add many, you get a bit of speed. You get a bit of speed on the appeasement. Look at those complete 100% miso. So we have, how many years do we have? Roughly 1500 or so to uh, get the last bit of Neolithic that we need. We are close enough to have uh, clams, so clams get a basket. There's a, there's a blackberry bush right next to the stone over there. So it's kind of like you just wake up in the morning and sit on the stone and directly eat from larger of the larder of nature. Isn't that poetic? <laughs> Very poetic. Right. Talking a little bit more about the future. So the, the devs' plans. Um, and it's no secret, they keep telling people all the time, is that they are first of all going to add uh, the content that they are supposed to add. You know, the original trailer sh showed all the content added, but um, of course the time it has taken to start adding these or to get them uh, more rapidly incoming is of course too long. So this is something a lot of players do react upon because there's so little added for every update and sometimes they can go like a month or two months between each update but there is a reason for this uh, the team were larger in the start and then it became a lot smaller I do not know why I have no intention of speculating either what I do know is that the ones that were left were one programmer one artist and half a programmer and half a tester so they were all in all 
three people and only one of them were programming full time so that's why so here you see the um, the index the new index it is really good um, not all these uh, chapters have in my opinion this is just my opinion enough information um, I put together this index but I wanted to add more into each section because um, not everything is self-explanatory and I, I keep nagging on it I guess the devs are really tired of it now. I keep nagging that we need more information in the tutorials because they seem to be so so basic. There is no how, why and ifs in the tutorial. The only place that I actually got my entire will was in husbandry. This is the one where they added everything I wanted them to add. This is the only place. And this contains everything you need to know about husbandry yeah about animal husbandry absolutely everything you need to know there there should be no questions after this <clears throat> yeah so the the tutorial is actually quite good now but it is still yeah still basic in my opinion in many of the chapters we'll probably add more as we go along i'm pretty sure of that it's not like this is the end of the of the improvements of tutorial and that will never go down well I would nag a lot I think because there's still things that needs to be uh, informed better there are some information about absolutely everything but it's not enough to avoid people getting stuck on some areas hidden events as I call them anyway yeah so the devs are going to to get the game done but the thing is they are also wanting to add community requested uh, items, content, changes, tweaks. So if you add everything of this together with all the things that we demand, I demand things as well. I probably demand most of all, to be honest. Uh, there is not so much time left for them to do the programming. So yeah, so if they can just manage to stay on track and get added what comes first of course now is of DLCs will be the Ice Age that is not a secret that is what they have said is like 99% sure will be the the next big uh, change to the game and before that they are going to do a lot of bug fixes they're going to do more optimizations and of course they will add more and more as we go along that belongs to the base game because this is just the base game it's like the base platform for adding stuff on top and into it and they will do that via DLCs and via implementations in between <clears throat> and some some people also wonder if the DLC will cost money or if they'll be free and I think the devs said they haven't quite made up their minds yet but they think they might actually go for a mix that most implementations will be perhaps be free and some DLCs will cost a little bit of money. It won't be much though, because it's not like they're gonna be, <clears throat> you know, a humongous uh, DLC on the whole. There will be smaller DLCs added in between, and I, I think those will be free with extra stuff. And then those really big ones, for instance, the ones with, with Ice Age or whatever else culture they are adding, might cost a little bit. But um, I think everything else will be free. At least that makes sense to me. I find that to be quite fair and straightforward. I mean, because they, after all, have to live off this, don't they? I mean, at least the programmer who, who programs as a living, he does this for a living. He is, uh, yeah, he's programming and doing nothing else because he has no time to do anything else. Yeah. Let's see. You guys. What do you guys have? Yeah, there's absolutely no point uh, raiding those with the grains. They are too early for us. And besides, the tribe hates with a passion anything to do with grains. Unless it's processed, of course. If the wheat is processed into bread, then they love it. Those two are basically on top of each other. This just looks weird. This doesn't look like the, you know... The, the start of the Thames. It looks like one of those further up, what's it called? The one below Humber, I think it's called. I will need to go check later when I see where I want to go. Should be easy enough to see when all the 
the water is uh, done flooding. Let's go have a bit of fun with these. Get some stuff. So just adding and adding, so greedy. But we're gonna try to make also make them change their commodity because if you hammer them with rates, they will change their commodity. But just be careful so they don't move away from you in the end anyway. Go to the, you know, when when I um, <laughs> terrorize them, let's be honest, let's call a spade a spade. When I terrorize them in the end, after like 30, 50, 40 years, they are all the way to the far opposite corner of where I am. <laughs> they have all fled to one corner of the map. Though I think the devs have sorted that so they don't do that anymore, but um, that's what they would do if they could choose. <laughs> And otherwise, peace, peaceful woman is uh, being a booty car plus plus. Let me say go. Oh, both my newels died in the fight. There were two newels, both died. Okay. I think one left because she was wounded. You know, if they get too wounded, they, they get really annoyed and they can actually leave you due to it. It's a part of, of the unrest that I forgot to mention in the tutorial. But uh, there's no doubt that you will learn it on your body when that happens. <laughs> but they tend to recover quite quickly. So it's not like with starvation that they will spend like eight sleeps to get well. Have a look. Can foo. Get more. Look at that. We're getting free food. Not like we necessarily need the free food, but hey, I'll take it. So they are fearful now. They probably would like to flee. They've done a lot of changes to the uh, to the raiders. I remember uh, raiding tribes, and I just continued to raid them. You know, as they were fleeing. So that of course has been fixed. So if you, if the the tribe manages to flee while you're raiding them, then you stop immediately and turn back home with whatever you manage to get. You don't just stand there and continue to. Oh my goodness! Look at all that food we got, dude. And we lost we lost two, one or two. Oh gosh! Now they changed to that. That's not what we wanted. We didn't want grains. Oh well, just leave it. Just leave it. <laughs> I wish there were more um, tools that you don't have. You know, when you start in the Mesolithic, you basically only have the toothpick, don't you? That's it. That's all you bloody well have. So I would like to send that. Look at her. Look. Found her. That wound doesn't look good. No. But she will. Within a day or two, she will be okay. But for now, she's actually so wounded she can't work. She's too weak to work. And this is an effect of, yeah, so let her um, recuperate. We can afford to not uh, work non-stop because we have plenty of food. This is the, the uh, result of being wounded in war. This is war fatigue. She might suffer from PTSD as well. Shell shock, as they used to call it in World War One. I. I wonder what they called it back in the day like this timeline the stare like people are just staring the scare the staring scare the scare stare I'm trying to think about things that is associated with ptsd on the whole like very i don't know stereotypically because all ptsd can be different it doesn't have to be the same thing but there are a few things that are common like uh fear constant fear that yeah the feeling of being in the situation, the same type of fear you had when you, you know, developed your PTSD, the trauma that caused it, the event that caused it, um, sleeping issues, obviously. Yeah. Look at everything. But she does have some good things as well. She prayed to the gods. I mean, it's got to count for something. Oh, yeah, look, she's going down. But she's still a bit too weak to work, I think. at least it's going down 
which is good, which is what it should do. You're healing, you know. And then she's gonna go sleep, and then she will heal even more. And day three or so, she should be all right. But if you're really wounded, you might not recover from the wound. It might actually get worse before it tries to get better. And if you don't have the fitness for it, then you die. No, it's like with some penicillin. You can get worse when you start taking it and then suddenly you get better. If you're already at death's door, when you start taking it, you might not manage it. You might not manage, make it. You could die. Yeah, she's, just, she's still too weak to work. That's fine. She also has horrible grades, so... Yeah. I'm not going to push her. <laughs> I shall leave her be and accommodate her with... Or helping her out with really reducing work age and uh, work hours now she's only slightly wounded she'll soon be ready to go back to work I think she might be back to work now already you can see her fitness lost all the red but she had a really good and healthy night's sleep I helped her along yeah look at that just slightly wounded this is good. Now she is fully back to herself. She still have really bad grades though, but uh, but she's okay now, isn't she? So we can basically put back up. Don't have to put it on max. We are doing all right, but. Uh, if hardcore has taught me anything, it is that you can't get away with not having people uh, sleeping in proper huts. I mean, you can get away with it in beginners, but that's it. Now, this this does not look like the start of the of the River Thames, to be honest. We are already we're almost in 6k now, and it should have been changed a long time ago. Long, long time ago. Hmm. Yeah. What do you have? You have food. Yeah, we don't need food. Don't need food. Oh, we have 19 elderly and only six kids. Oof. Nope. Oh, they're moving. Yeah. Well, I don't blame you. How far are you going? That's not far enough. <laughs> we'll come for you. <laughs> Oh, that is so scary if someone said that to me. they come for me. Oh, let's uh, get some food because we so desperately need it. Not. Need to get enough people to, to raid. <laughs> well, look at that. We can now make bone harpoons. Don't mind that. At all. Oops. Oops, it is. That'll do it. You're lacking one, one member. That's a big tribe. I wonder if they're going to slaughter us. They might. But we have, we have flint spear, so it won't be more than like two, between two and four. It won't be the entire group. I hope. I've never had the entire group of 14 um, wiped out, but I have had eight over half wiped out. But that was with go going with toothpicks, which is never a good idea on the big tribes. You should not do that. That is going to be a loss of people that you probably can't afford. But you know, if you have a very um, large tribe, you could use warfare as a uh, method of population control. You don't have that from me, by the way. Never heard that from me. <clears throat> there are many ways to roam. Not all of them noble. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see how much we get from, from this place? Oh la la! Look at the amounts, they are really big. And we lost two in combat, yeah? Between two and four, I did expect. They probably ran in too soon and got 
immediately smack down. <clears throat> That's a nice amount of, of food. Very nice. They changed, or no, they haven't changed. Yeah, yeah. Don't mind having extra food. So now that we've had a uh, fairly big dip in the population it's probably going to start to increase a lot but since we have this uh, you know elder boom it's going to dip even more before it starts growing well, this is because my my uh, my women did not get enough kids to keep up with the elder with the population becoming elder and also of course if you don't get a lot of migrants which is a way you're supposed to help your own tribe regulate your population. If you don't get a lot, you will have a slow and steady dip in population. I actually prefer it like this, above population, uh, explosive population growth, because that is just not playable. Because still more food. Because <laughs> still even more food. More, more, more. Hello, you seem very alone. Okay, great. So what is your, yeah, look at that. More and more, more and more Neolithic influence for every migrant. Okay, now you can go, 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 go. 11 people, that's an odd, odd number to send. Are they waiting for someone to find their weapon? Oh yeah, there they go. Let's see how much they get this time. I don't really expect them to get the same amount because the mounts are varying and the more you raid them, the less you get. In the end, you get nothing because they have nothing left. <laughs> We might not get anything this time because normally the amount uh, you start with a certain amount that you get immediately and then you keep raiding to get find more and then right before you stop uh, fighting then you have the max amount you get and then you're done raiding yeah but here we have nothing to start with do we there's that oh, there you go and oh, now we're getting it okay so yeah it might not be a lot more than this though we shall see we lost one Not too bad. Yeah, so it's not as much as the, the other time, but of course it's because it's the second time you're raiding them within a very short amount of time. And uh, tribes who have the, um, the fear tend to also give less, because it means you've already ransacked their supply once. The, the chance of getting better loot or amount is, is much higher if you uh, wait till the fear is gone because that has given them time to build up their supply again little do they know we will hammer them again <laughs> okay we're going into winter so we're almost going to you are almost in year eight almost 6k BC so we have roughly a thousand years plus a few hundred years to uh, a thousand yeah roughly a thousand to um, get what we need I'm not sure we're gonna make it we're not gonna make it oh we might we might we might manage it to get a full Neolithic <clears throat> 
by the time we reach 5k BC. Look how pretty it is. Reminds me of Northern Norway. We had this all the time. So pretty. So what else was I going to say about the patch notes? About I think there was more about the raiders and the traders. There was a lot of bugs and crashes and, and freezing with the raiders and the traders combined and also sometimes with the livestock. Um, I don't know the connection there. I have no clue. I just know that I had very little of these issues. Like some players have issues I have never heard of. And I cannot for my bare life manage to reproduce. And I have no clue how they do it. So unfortunately the devs are on their own there. Because I have no way of knowing. If I, if I can't reproduce I can't help. So I think we're going to be around year 10 or so um, for this playthrough. So it's taken 10 in-game in -game years to play from 10k BC to, to 5000 BC. I want an old tribe. So I'm going to play, I'm going to start playing slow again um, in a uh, I don't know, R2 and R3 region, because I would really like to have all the food types available in the Neolithic timeline. And the only place that actually has all these food types available in the Neolithic timeline is the north, north western part of Spain. So we will see how many old people do I have. I might actually start migrating soon because uh, my people are going further and further away to get food, so the logistics is becoming a bit bob bob. But well, we have stayed here quite a few years, haven't we? But I am, I, I really am expecting the sea levels to rise at least one more time. At least one more time. It might take a bit of time though, it might take another thousand years. I do not think it will be any more rising after 5k BC for sure. It will be done before that, I think. Well, at least to the point where it is so much that you actually have to move. You know, see the, the fencing here. Um, uh, some people still have issues with um, how to do the fencing because uh, the tutorial says you should place down the, the the gate first and then do the fence afterwards. But it doesn't always fit because the fences are a full unit. You can't adjust the units. So that's not how I do it, at least. I do it differently. I add the fences, I add the gates afterwards and always a bit over the fences to make sure that the connection is secure so early tribe can get into the, uh, the area that is fenced in. There is nothing more annoying, seriously, when you have just plant, tilled and planted like 20 fields and then a horde of flipping wild horses manage to get through a small crack between the fence and the gate because you didn't connect them. Oh my word! It's like my smoke is coming out of my ears. <laughs> Not exaggerating in the slightest. Yeah, so you know, necessity teaches you tricks. When you get really fed up of animals violating your private space, your, the space that you need to keep locked in, then you, you learn to, to test around, to do some experiments to figure out how can I work around this BS. Because I don't like that you must have the yellow or it doesn't work. I mean, you can see the fences are together, but there still is a gap. That's not quite logic to me. But yeah devs are looking into that as well because there is some some f connection issues there sometimes with uh, especially fences that are not on a flat land if it's a bit tilted like in a small hill it can actually give a a v-sized gap that we can't really see with our eyes but in the coding it, or when you he uses the, the debug thing you can see there's a a green v a small green v so that needs to be done. So the visuals need to fit with the actual mechanic. Yeah. Do I explain that right? Ish. You know what I mean? I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. 
Right, so now we're year eight. I'm just going to let my tribe do their thing. Do their work in peace. I'm not going to bother them. Of course, we have everything we need, don't we? We have sufficient food. Not too much. It's like a smidgen of production, but nothing that will cause us to die the next year or so. We have enough housing. We seem to have enough graves. I'm going to, at a later point, uh, do some more practicing on skills. Especially the stoneworking. The, the woodworking already has it with, with their um, fencing. And of course, the uh, crafting also will do the woodworking. So yeah, one step at a time. When you have a lot of things built, when, you know, when you have your stuff built and you're kind of just waiting around for either the timeline to be right or for the water to rise like we are doing, it is a little bit of a waiting game, isn't it? You do some small adjustments here and there. Oh, you've changed to, to rope. And you have, oh, we don't need those. Yeah, no, we're good on those still. Grains, mm, no. Oh, wouldn't mind a few honeycombs, but I'm not prepared to lose my people for a few honeycombs. Oh, maybe I am. Maybe I'm going to lose some people for honeycombs. Oh, boy. This could go bad. This is a big tribe. How many did I lose last time? I lost four, didn't I? I lost four. Or was it three? Actually, two died in combat and one fled home. She was the one that was so wounded, wasn't she? Look at them. Ouch. Dying in combat. Is it worth it though? Is it? Oh, they don't have much. You better get a lot. Really? We lost two people for 13 units of honey. Come on. <laughs> it's just. How do you think the families are going to take that? Hmm? How, do you gonna... How are you going to explain that to the families? Seriously? Yeah. It's a good thing I don't have to stand responsible for anything. <laughs> I can just go wild. Oh, dude, it's just pixels. It's just pixels. Okay, sure. Yeah. So now we'll see how the summer looks. I can't believe we have basically got no rose hips in this part of England and this timeline. We should have had it around, you know, 7, 7K or so in the more southern parts. I'm telling you, it's the temperature changes they've done. They've messed up the the, uh, the rose hips in England. Just because it's a, a smidgen a lower temperature than in, for instance, Spain or France. So that means they get nada. Oh, let's have some migrants. Look, I am coming with great grades. And the only thick influence, I'll take me. I'll take me. <laughs> Did have some nice grades, didn't I? I did. Strong, smart, and resolved. Sure. I only have one, one skill though. Not sure how resolved that is. It wasn't particularly. Oh my goodness! I got two right after another. Okay. Sure. Sure. Let's get as much Neolithic influence as we can. It'll be back up to 47. Maybe I should uh, beautify the graveyard a little bit. Uh, practice on my uh, stoneworking skills. Yeah. Make it a house. I'm going to make it a house. It's a house for the dead. Poetically correct, isn't it? It's, it's correct, right? <laughs> Oh, is that not going to fit? It isn't, is it? Oh, that's flipping annoying. Oh, wait. I might get away with it. No, no, this is fine. ta -da. I was thinking of making a chimney as well, but that would be taking the piss. <laughs> the house of the dead do not need a chimney, Lily. Yeah, okay. All right, then. Let's get some lovely torches. There you go. See? Nobody can come say we do not take care of our dead. 
We do. We even made him a house. Because we don't have a passage tomb. So there. At least we have something for them. Better than letting them just lie. Oh, hello. More migrants. Take them. Not even going to check them. Just going to take them because I know they have Neolithic influence and that is exactly what we want. God, we're year 10. We're going to be past year 10, aren't we? We have 700 years to get enough Neolithic influence before we reach 5k BC. Man. We might not make it. But at least the tribe is happy. Jump forward to year 11. The, um, the dip in the uh, elder population has uh, subsided a little bit, calmed down a bit. Because now we, you see we don't have three times more elder than we have kids. And we also got quite a few younger migrants as well. Which of course only not only helps with keeping the population steady, but also it gives us more Neolithic culture influence. So I'm expecting the, the floods to rise any time moment now. It really, really should rise soon. Really, really. Why are you unhappy? Oh, am I going low on housing? I am, aren't I? Because we no longer have only like 50 max people. We now have over 60. Cool. And oh, there's two of them being repaired. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I made extra. In in Miso tribes, if you manage to get up a small temple men here and wooden posts. You don't need to chuck up any offerings. I mean, that's they will seek the best thing. So I think, yeah, and it keeps them happy, doesn't it? Even on hardcore. Okay, so one was really bad. One was Bob Bob and the rest was good. Look, they're almost half, almost half and half. We are so flipping close. Wow, look at that. We now can make storehouses. Whoop de doo! Well, we don't really have um, anything to put in it yet. I have limit on all foods. So yeah, the house of the dead looks good, by the way. <laughs> there are a few who sleep by the fireplace. So the, the bad thing about not building the, how, these houses now is that some of them are going to grow their unrest. We are kind of getting closer to the, the time where the last flood or the last big increase in sea levels will, will occur. Oh, look at them. So close. The groups are getting quite big now, aren't they? Oh, look at that. We can make palisades and the palisade gates. I don't mind the um, the doors on them, but you know the next next level should be the animation, right? That they are actually closing and opening. Let's get this one up as well, so everyone has a place to sleep. Because when we are migrating, if we have unhappy people, I promise you, absolutely guarantee you, we will lose some of them. If we're really unlucky, we could lose bloody well half due to the collateral effect of, of some leaving the tribe with family member and then the extended family, etc, etc. It's not good. It's not good. At all. Oh, told ya. Yeah, it's just about on time. Just about when we need to get to it. Right, so let's see. Where is the... I need to go find London. It's somewhere, somewhere there. Let's see. Um, no. No, 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 no. No, 
We can't reach it. I can see it over there. Oh my god, we cannot, we cannot reach London. Why didn't I think about this? Oh, Lily, because you did it at the spur of the moment. For heaven's sakes. Well, we gotta stay where we are then. This is a place called Lin Linwood something. So this is the wash then, and that is the bloody Humber. Seriously. Oh man, well, we have, what did we learn? What did we learn? We learned, do your flipping research before you make a YouTube video. Just saying. To fun. But we'll be happy here as well. In Linwood. <laughs> no, I think we'll be happy. Ish. We wanted London. Okay, well. Next time, you know what we have to do? We have to start when we start in... Oh, look, we have plenty of reed. That's nice. Oh, and I see tons of hazelnuts. Yes! Yes! We have to start in Doggerland, and then we move east, and then we um, island hop a bit between Doggerland, the far south of England, and the French, the French country. And then we need to move more south and then go east. And then we need to um, island hop between the west of England, more west, southwest-ish. And then make sure that the triangle or the uh, square, the rectangle, where we pick where we want to be, is actually covering the London area. Otherwise, we'll get the same issue, won't we? It needs to cover the London area. So that was me my miscalculating. It is what it is. Okay. Oh, here we go again. This time the dance needs to be huge. We need to get up. We're not going to make it. We're not going to make it for nightfall. We're going to lose flipping half the tribe. We are so going to die. <laughs> what is this? Uh, I just have to try. Get up everything and then just... Yeah, go, go. We have no choice. We have no choice. We need fireplaces at least. But we, we won't get up all the fireplaces. It's not going to happen. Ain't going to happen. And we cannot do anything about the policy. So that's not going to help at all, is it? It's actually going to make it a lot worse. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's see how far they get. It can't be that bad. I mean, how bad can it possibly get? I know how bad it can get. You can absolutely lose your tribe on this. Like, I have four people left. <laughs> four people with no family. <laughs> okay, crossing fingers that we get at least one. One, one, one fireplace. I doubt it though. I don't think so. Just waiting in anticipation. No, they didn't make it. Okay, let's prepare for calamity in the morning when they wake up, stiffen from a full night's sleep. See? See? <laughs> See? What did I tell you? They're going to start leaving. It won't take long because now they don't even have a praying system to go to. They can't pray either. Yeah, bye. Love you. Bye. First one to go. Okay, she has a child and also a husband. We are likely going to lose them too. So, what is their extended family though? She also has really bad grades, so of course she's the first to leave. I'm not surprised in the slightest. The problem is that uh, healthy members that doesn't have these bad grades can also choose to leave if more than one family member leaves. Oh, here we go. That's her daughter. Yeah, that's her daughter going. Look at her. She has good grades. But she's leaving because she had to sleep out in the open and after so many years it's 50 plus immediately. And another one, that's, is that her husband? Probably. Oh, oh, then he left and then he lost the palisade. Well, we weren't going to build them anyway. So just take them with you. Or is she going to leave too? Okay, so we're going to go down, down to 80 by, by this um, pattern. 
we're going to lose more, I'm sure of it. Because there's no way that they don't have exactly, yeah, extended family that will also leave. Yeah. I didn't want her to go either. Oh, God, no, look at this size of her family. Oh. It's going to be an avalanche of people leaving. And you know what? I'm just going to take it standing up. Just hit me with it. Just get it over with. And you know it's meant that the speed always goes down. So I'm just going to spam the, the max speed button until it calms down. Look at that. They're all going. Oh my god. You guys. It was one night. What the heck is wrong with you people? Granted it's in the middle of the winter. But hey, come on, be Vikings. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter, Lily. Just place it down. Seriously. Always this stress that it has to be so perfect. <laughs> Keep going. We just need to chuck it down and chuck it down. So now we have some, some fireplaces and some pelts out. So it should, in theory, calm down a bit, to be honest. Oh, someone keeps pinging me on my uh, Steam account. But I don't have time now. I'm playing. Go away. I shall talk to you later. I promise. Okay, so we have five. We only have five fireplaces. That is like 50 people. Yeah, and the rest sleeps in the huts. We should be all right. Yeah, fine, y'all. Yeah, we have plenty of huts incoming. Um, and we have four or five are already completed. I think I think they might actually be able to to complete them all before before nightfall. Or maybe I'm a bit too optimistic. Anyway, so we now are <clears throat> only a few hundred uh, years away from 5k BC and I don't think we lack much to actually get uh, the Neolithic culture showing in the tribes the Neolithic culture panel you know and when that is done then it's done then we've when, then we've done it because that was kind of the goal I wanted to set myself to that I managed to get this before 5k BC unfortunately it could easily have not happened and we still don't know if it is going to happen but I think we are so close that maybe with the next set of migrants, we actually might get enough. But we'll see. We'll see. See how it goes. We did have reed here. I saw it. So that means we can we can build a reed huts. But at the moment, any any huts. Anything apart from sleeping in the open is preferable, absolutely anything, including the fireplaces. You know, people hate it, but it, it, none of the fireplaces that we have, even not even the small one, will give minus 50. Open, open space, or sleeping in the open will give uh, 50 immediately. 50 on rest. And another one. Surely it must calm down now. ish <laughs> really i'll just press the key get it done with oh my god look at them oh dude i told you this one <laughs> oh crikey but uh we are year 12 and we had like 90 plus when we uh when we migrated so i did expect to lose some i have to admit I, I reckon it will stop around 80-ish. So we lost between 15 and 18. I need to uh, mute my steam. I can't have it like this. <laughs> Come on guys, build, build, build. So the, the, the smart thing to do um, when you are going to migrate a, a medium to large tribe 
in the Mesolithic in hardcore is to remember the agenda. Even if you are going to lose people, you're almost certain you're going to lose people because I did not manage to get up any fireplaces, any huts, nothing. I could probably have done it differently by not adding five million huts or five million fireplaces, but I would have lost some anyway. And also adding the graves and a few offerings and that's basically it. So uh, what I would do differently to have a different outcome is basically that I would not have placed down so much at the same time. But anyway, I would have lost people because there's no way I could get enough um, sleep areas for almost 100 people. It's not going to work, especially not with those shitty policies that we have. They, they're all on default, so half the tribe is sitting on their bum doing nothing. Don't particularly like that, I have to admit. <laughs> Something I still am annoyed at. Let's get some more of the uh, fine sticks because we seem to run out of those, don't we? Yeah. Okay, so now someone has a position around the fireplaces, so that's not the worst because we're getting up houses as we go along and fewer and fewer are having to sleep by the fireplace, which of course is the right way to do it, bit by bit. So slowly but surely the angry faces should start to go away more and more. Hopefully, one can only hope. And it's pouring again. Been a lot of rain here. But you know, it is England. It does belong. I mean, there's so much rain in England, it's ridiculous. The entirety of the autumn and winter is a lot of rain. Rain and sour weather. Not sure you can call weather sour, but it's uh, it's sour. I swear, I swear, it's sour weather. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> Let's see now when uh, spring is coming, if we can uh, start getting some some rose hips in the early summer or late spring, if we're lucky. If we're lucky. Yeah, I know you're thinking about leaving, but at least you're not sleeping in the open. Just saying. It's better than a kick in the teeth. I'm going to get down these immediately, let people have a proper place to pray. Get it up. There you go. Everything takes time. Oh, new leader. Okay. That kind of means that, uh, in theory, we should be able to. Ta da! Everybody works in this tribe. Dun, dun, dun. Maybe we should get down a few tanners to keep up with the pelt huts. It's going to take a little bit to get rid of them all, to be honest. And we still want to keep a few though, right? For emergencies. Okay then. We should also get down dryers. So we have five graves available. Yeah, that's fine. That is fine. Yeah, the tunnels are being built fairly quickly. Still have plenty uh, ropes left. Yeah, good. Good, good, good. We, we did kind of make like a hundred and so out of them to, to have when we migrated. So there was some preparation done. So oh, yeah, look at that. They are building the uh, temple, getting along. Do 
just need to make sure the groups are okay. It's so quickly to forget to adjust the groups as you're going along when you have just migrated. Because you need to put stuff down on maintenance levels so you don't overproduce constantly. Especially if you plan on staying a bit longer terms. Which we kind of are. I mean this, this village is now going to become large here. Because as soon as you can get farms you don't really have to move before uh, several decades have passed if you want to. You can basically keep your, your tribe alive. On beginners you can easily do it but on hardcore it's going to be really tough to keep as much as 80 people, between 80 and 100 people alive with the uh, with, um, yield from the farms only because uh, you need so and so many people and when you reach the amount you can max out of, of farms and also people you can do nothing more and whatever you have too much population you, and not, not enough food for they will die from starvation so there's kind of a, 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 a soft cap a natural stop to how many people you can actually keep alive in in hardcore of, over many decades I still don't see a lot of animals coming to camp. I'm used to a lot of a lot more animals coming to camp, especially during winter. But I think uh, hardcore, of course, has much less amount of prey compared to both expert and beginners. So we don't really see a lot. And I send out several hunters to take care of everything that is in the vicinity. So it kind of makes sense they don't get to come into the camp because they're too few, and those who dare come will become sausages fairly quickly. So I guess that's. Uh, a good explanation. <laughs> right, more more housing. Let's just chuck down more housing. So how far are we off? Oh gosh, we're almost at 5k. Come on migrants, we need you. We need you to come. Give us Neolithic. Please, please. We are south enough to start getting them with full migrant, uh, with full Neolithic influence now. So they should come with, at least if they have more than 50%, then they will count much more, of course. And then you add what you already have, and then suddenly you will have enough to show on the culture panel. And woof, we have a lot of Neolithic culture requirement stuff. A lot. Including some of the nice temples and the nice support structures, the megalithic structures. It's going to be ages though before we can get either the passage tomb or the longhouse. It's going to be absolute ages. Oh, look at that. We can make stone sickles. Good job. They are excellent, but they are very expensive to make. You first need a bite face and then you need a fine stick. I mean, everything needs fine sticks. Seriously. But I don't mind if we can make it, we will make it. Okay, so now we lack uh, roughly half or a little bit less than half the tribe lacks to have a place to sleep. Yeah, they've, they've slept out for quite a few nights now, haven't they, some of them? So they are threatening to leave, they don't like it. Look how long it's taken to get enough reed. It just shows that there's just not enough reed, seriously. You have to fight so hard to get enough reed and you, you spend like many, many sleeps to gather enough material while the, the straw is like just falling into the camp in comparison. It's going to be interesting to see the uh, types of housing we're going to get further along in the game. I've seen some of the the, um, the research that might be used for any of the uh, other housing. And it is, of course, authentic. Uh, I think uh, there will also be some artistic uh, freedom there with regards to the colours and the materials used to create them. Uh, except from perhaps the skeleton and the the most uh, evidence that we have of what kind of materials were used. But of course there is no doubt that there was more material that has been rotted away 
fairly quickly that we can never find any kind of evidence for. So that leaves us a little bit of a leeway with regards to artistic freedom. So we can add a little bit, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Whatever makes sense, in my opinion, should to a certain degree be okay to use. Yeah? We can do that. Just I'm just going to chuck down more peltas because there, there are still people who are too many sleeping by the fireplace. It takes too long to build the good, good huts or the better huts. While pelts are cheap, easy and quick to put up. Yeah, we're closing up to getting enough to build uh, reed huts, finally. I'm getting a little bit nervous now because we are so close to 5k BC and we still do not have enough Neolithic influence. But the, the temple is being built well. I mean, there's always something positive. Not everything is negative, even though it is negative, there's always something positive. Something could always be worse. Always. Right. So fewer and fewer are sleeping by the fireplace, which is good. I don't think we're going to lose more people because I think they're going to rotate sleeping in the other uh, houses now. Rotate fairly well so that nobody sleeps two nights in a row by the fireplace. So I think I'm okay with that. It's going to be interesting, interesting to see if uh, some of the, the more bigger things like the UI is being uh, reworked by the devs. Uh, I haven't seen any talk about it in the public or anything apart from that. They, you know, people find it clunky. I am now, of course, then assuming that they, they will want to look into it to see if they can get uh, um, a, a better system. There are so many really good systems out there. The thing is with me and this UI is that, that I have gotten used to it. You know, I've, I've had, had this UI all the time. And they did have a different one to start with. They had a, a different system to start with in the game before I started playing it. And I'm not sure why they went away from that because that looked really nice. I think it was a circle with several things coming out of what they could choose to, to build and do and stuff. So I wish they would um, maybe go back to that so I can have a look at it. Maybe it actually is really cool. I don't know why they went away from it though, but yeah. It is what it is. Let's get more time for the the reed huts. Go. While we wait. Should get up some of these as well because the straw is just rotting on the ground now, isn't it? And these. Chuck a few down here, can't we? We're okay with them being close to each other. Yeah. Maybe we should tie tie tidy up a bit. A smidgen. It's quite messy, <laughs> isn't it? I can't take uh, over the uh, hazelnut trees. Can't have that. Oh, that didn't work. I never count them, I just place them down and then I put the same resources in some of those that are left over. Whatever is a lot of, I just place in several, that's fine as well. So the UI and the tutorial, in my opinion, needs more work and optimization for bigger tribes definitely still needs more work because I can easily dip below 40 on big tribes. And if I move the camera fast, 
while having tons of stuff built it can easily drop below 20 or down to 20 as well and i have a really good graphics card so yeah it's going to need some more work but then we need nvidia and amd to update their drivers so we do not have this issue with loading for five minutes before we can play the game because this is not down to the devs this is actually down to the developers of of the drivers so it's, it's quite annoying i have to admit because i have to start and restart a lot because of the patching and it takes five minutes every time and it's yeah it's a real time waster to be honest I was a bit optimistic having only very small storage areas for both the leather and the rawhide. I'm going to need more, but uh, yeah. Okay, I don't care if it becomes 5k or below. We're going to play till we have a full Neolithic migrant so we can get some Neolithic stuff. That is the point. Come on. This might be a long, long video. It might be a long end video this is the, the last one in the series i'm not going to make more so it might actually be several hours long it depends how long we have to wait for the flipping migrants to come with enough culture just saying could be long and it could be short we don't know totally random if we had been to the very far east now we would have had it already we would already have it we would have farms we would have had livestock yeah we would have had everything I want to do some bigger ones over here with weapons and the tools because I have quite a few of those, do I? Don't I? So yeah, some more people can help themselves from more than one space. Let's do it. You know, with regards to knowledge, I think they're spot on in how they're doing it, how we are gaining knowledge. But I do believe that we might actually be better off with having a bit uh, better tweaks still, even still. Because it's, it's, uh, it's frustrating that we uh, can still lose uh, knowledges unless we spam a bit. We're not supposed to have to play above need, but we do. We do have to play a little bit above need, which is sort of acceptable because we need to create tasks for the next generation to learn but direct spamming is not something i particularly think is authentic but maybe maybe we can look at it a bit differently maybe it's not spamming maybe it actually is practice for the tribe maybe we can look at it like that maybe that's what the, the, the how the devs are looking at it and i just need to adjust my perception of it that could be it you know you know, we kind of are doing it with the stone stone walls because when we can't make any stone tools, we have to make stone walls. And, and then we're having kind of like the impression that yeah, we're going to beautify the camp. We could transfer that to the spamming of the tools as no, we're not spamming tools. We are teaching the younger generation to make better tools. So I think I think I'm going to change my mindset to that so I don't feel like, no, we are playing above need. I think it just it's creating tasks for the next generation and that's it really. Benches are always welcome. Don't need a million more fireplaces now because we're getting huts. More and more huts. Let me see. We actually have a few a few rosips. There won't be many though. Because now they will want it warmer to sprout up a lot here in England. But yeah, we are certainly getting there, that's for sure, bit by bit. Do I need to wait for another few reeds before I can build another reed hut? It won't be too long though because they seem to be in a good float now and it's just a sporadic building now like one here and one there instead of five million and we actually didn't lose more people so we lost yeah i think we had 98 when we started we had 982 when the last lever left 
so not too bad at all okay we're running out of time we are running out of time oh 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 let's uh look um, we're so, so close to the ocean and to the water that i can't place down any uh deep storage facilities such as the pits they won't go there you need to be over 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 the land surface in order to <laughs> to place them down there but yeah i'll just have to place them over here no big deal people just have to walk a bit to find their food well i don't have enough materials for all those so let's uh wait with those that are over the limit of what we can actually build there you go we can build five so let's build five Should I put a limit on? Yeah, I don't need more than max 500. You can go up as well. Because we're going to use more, aren't we? You just use more and more and more as the tribe grows. That goes without saying. Hello! Look, 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 look! Look at the colour of them! They are majority Neolithic! Look! This is it! We did it! I can't believe we actually got it! Look! <laughs> I can't believe we got it from 5k! I was sure we were not going to make it! But look at, look at all the things we get! As soon as you get just a sliver of Neolithic influence showing on your tribe tab of culture, you get access to all this! That is great. I'm really glad. I mean, we missed horribly on the London part. I can only blame someone else. Like, it can't possibly be me not doing my research. No, can't have that. God, look how far away the ground house is. Oh, but you can see the clay container as well now. And it's also far away. That's going to take centuries. Look, look. There's a tiny sliver of, of Atlantic Neolithic influence in the tribe. And see, we have threshers. So that means we can actually thresh the wheat and the flax, but we shan't, we shan't do it because nobody likes it. If we get livestock before we get farms, sure, then we can do it because then we can feed the grains to the livestock. We are lacking passage to, we're lacking the trilithon. Yeah, we're lacking the big daddy megalithic structure. So there are plenty more to come as the millennia go on. I'm just really chuffed. I'm really chuffed we did it before 5k was over, before we dipped to 4k something. Yeah. And then you see all the unhappy faces are gone, even though we have tons and tons of pelt hearts, they are still managing to rotate enough for all the unhappy faces to go away. So you don't need to have only all the absolute best houses all the time even in hardcore because they will rotate will rotate on absolutely everything and that is basically it so what have i learned from this a lot first lesson is that do your research lily make sure that when you say that you're going to end up in london you actually will end up in london yeah that's not a bad idea it has been great though it has been a lot of fun as usual and i'm really glad you guys are enjoying uh, following me on my journeys and also joining in on my journeys i wish you guys would share more of your screenshot more of your stories what you are doing silly things you're doing your mistakes i would love to hear about your mistakes i would like to hear about your victories things that you have figured out i mean if you have something to teach me please do so uh, i will forever want to hear people's stories from ancient cities because i love this game i believe in it and i will stay a lover of it for god knows how long until i die who knows i could die tomorrow though but hey you, you get my drift <laughs> anyway this has been absolutely excellent and um the next uh, will probably be around when the next patch comes out if it's fairly big i can't be arsed doing the tiny ones the small fixes but the big ones i am definitely definitely going to do in the meantime till then have fun and take care